Hello, welcome back. This is Moat, and welcome back to my series on fruit servers. Uh, this is the second episode for survival, and I wanted to talk about some of the plugins that are available on the server. So last time we took a look around, we took a look at some of the, the voting and things like that. Well, today I'm going to show you a little bit about the protection plugin that we have, and also a little bit about um, what's called MCMMO. It's a uh, I don't know, I'll have to look up the acronym, I can't remember right now. But it, it allows sort of role-playing game type skills like uh, unarmed combat and, and uh, fishing, things like that. And so we'll play around with that a little bit. The first thing is that there, there's no necessary grief, grief protection. This Anybody can come here and uh, you know mine this. There's no protection of land that way on this server. Uh, it's based on, so in a sense, our, uh, in essence, our... Grief protection is based on respect. We're going to treat each other well, and when something happens, we talk to admins. We can do a ticket. So if something happens to you, you can. Um, if, you're, if you never, if you don't remember what you need to do, always try help. It'll get you the basic information. But it talks about using ticket, and you can literally do ticket, and then describe what happens. Something here, you know, and uh, that will send a message to the admins, and it will actually give you. They're where you're standing. So if you're standing near the grief, you can tell them what happened, and they can take care of it. They can roll back the problem or do whatever they else need, whatever they need to do, and including warning the person who may have caused a problem. So uh, they have a pretty good system here. You can lock chests, you can lock crafting tables, and furnaces and things like that. So you can lock them to your own use and even hoppers, in fact. So, uh, for example, when you put down a new chest, right, like that. That's already locked to me. You'll notice it says down here in the uh, then created a private chest successfully. If you're not sure, you can always do the command slash C info. When you do that, uh, then you just punch your, the thing you want to find out about and it gives you information. So this is now my private um, chest and it also even tells you how to modify it if you want to do that. So let's say I want to make sure that my son can get into it. Um, so I just do C modify and then the name of the player I want to add in. So that's my son's name, username. Uh, punch it again, and there's the, it says register the rights. So i uh, let you know that that's now, that's a chest that my son and I can both open. Uh, there's some other options. You can make it um, C public. And um, if I do that, well, and I've already registered that chest, so I can't do that again. Uh, I wonder if, let's see, let's just, so, uh, I think you can also use lock and unlock. Let me just see. Uh, yep, so now if we check it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What am I doing? Can't type it. There we go. So now, see, there's just this chest isn't registered. If I do C public, I punch it. Oop, I, sorry, guys. Then um, it says this is a public chest, right? That means anybody can get into it, but nobody can claim ownership, so nobody else can lock it either. It's always open to anybody and everybody. Uh, so I can go ahead and take that back. And you can also do things like see donate, or see, do you spell it correct? There we go. Uh, no, I thought, oh, maybe we, maybe we don't have this one turned on. Nope, okay. So you can find out a lot of these commands by typing slash LWC. Uh, it's something like lightweight chest or something like that. Uh, C donation, that's what I was doing wrong. Um, so you can change it private. You can add it for a password. So you can tell your friends passwords, things like that. You can modify it, unlock it. Um, it tells you all the, the different pieces of information you want. So if I want to make this a donation check, hit chest. There we go. There we go. So now this is a donation chest, which means people, anybody can open it and put stuff in it. But once they put stuff in, they can't take it back out. So it's literally... A donation to you to the owner only the owner can go back in and, and take stuff out of here uh, so that's the way that kind of works all right so that's the basic protections and you can do those kind of locks on these um, furnaces things like that so here and just uh, yeah so see this is this is my own private furnace nobody else can use that furnace which means they also can't go in and take any coal or anything that's in there as well all right, now I want to show you a couple of other fun things with chests. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do here, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it right there. So I'm going to do 
the command is C drop transfer select like that and I click on a chest like that so now that's registered as my, my drop transfer notice there's nothing in the chest right now but if I come over here and I just take uh, let's just drop that on the floor it didn't go anywhere right not oh because I'm still holding them there we go now they're gone they're not on the floor they're not on my inventory they are in this chest so you can do that wherever you are so here I am holding this chest I just toss it on the ground it disappears and voila it shows up over here now you can do this from anywhere within the same world all right so if I go to a warp here now it turns out this yeah, the end the month is quickly coming to an end so I doubt I'll get my build done but I'm gonna we'll, we'll try we'll see what happens um, but let me um, here I'm just gonna grab a bunch of paper actually I can just drop it out there right now, I've noticed that when you drop it off from the inventory you have to drop it twice to really make it drop uh, here so if I take this yeah the first click just kind of almost drops it but not really so you can drop any of those things so I drop some gravel um, let's take a look what else we have here uh, sandstone what else would I want? Uh, you might as well take the flint, I guess. Uh, and you can drop it regularly. So just uh, that just, I just hit control drop. So none of them show up here, right? I've just dropped them from here. And then if I go warp back home, right? All this is in the same world. And check now. Oops. After the, actually warp in here. There's the gravel, there's the paper, and there's the flint. So bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Voila. It keeps dry, it keeps coming over here now to turn that off let's say you want to be able to actually drop things on the ground you just do C drop transfer again this time no select and oh, right there we go it's off um, so you can here's so you can do all the different uh, different pieces there so on off or status so if I do status it'll tell me it's active and if I do C drop transfer off now it's off and uh, let me just grab these things okay. so now if I drop these they just sit there so that's one of the other nice features uh, it's I find I can, I'll use this like if I want to move the stuff from that build out to here back home I can put up a double chest and have just start throwing the stuff on the ground and have it show up over here so it's a, a quick way to transfer things around in a single world right so I can't transfer stuff from here to the nether or from the nether to here, or end to here, that kind of thing, or even uh, like from uh, the creative world that's on this server. I can't do that. So it's not, for different worlds you can't do it, but once within the same world, like if you put a chest down in the nether and you drop stuff in the nether, you turn on the transfer and you drop stuff in the nether, it will appear in that chest. Same thing from the end or while I'm in the overworld. So it's one way to transfer stuff, uh, gives you a little bit more expansion on that. So that's one of the other benefits we want, I wanted to show you. Um, and then I think, uh, let me see something real quick here. Oh yeah, the other thing is um, if you, now the nice thing is when we put down chests, they are automatically locked. If you wanted to do, um, you know, unlock a lot of chests or add a modification to a lot of chests, you can do C persist and that should turn it on. So now if I do C modify, uh, and add my son, right? So if I do that command, now I can do that, and it's added to this one, and I do that, it's added to that one, and do that, and it's added to that one. So C persist gives you an opportunity to keep going through, and if I kept hitting chest, it would keep doing it, so things like that, um, until you do something else. So to turn that off, so if I were to type something in chat or something, it would, I think it would inter interfere with it. Uh, but if I do C persist again, now they won't and if i right click nothing happens all right uh there we go looks looks like it tried to register one more time so that's okay yeah all right so that's some of the fun stuff we can do with the chest plugin there's one more thing i want to do with the chests and that's to set up a little shop all right so i've just placed down a regular chest uh, it does not work with trap chests it only works with uh, regular chests i've thrown in a bunch of bows because i have a bunch of them from um I have a skeleton spawner down there. Anyway, uh, 
and then if you want to create your own little shop now it's kind of silly to do this in the corner of my home that nobody will ever come to uh, but if i was up on the, the surface or something you can do this anywhere in the world you just put up a sign it has to be within one block of the chest that you want to sell stuff from you leave the first line blank it'll fill it in for you you type in the number of things that you want to sell since i'm selling bows i'm only going to sell one bow at a time so each time somebody clicks on this to buy something, this is the amount of things they'll get. So if you want to sell them a stack of cobble or whatever it is, you'd want to put 64 as the number here. Then you want to do uh, B is how much it costs to buy this. So I'm going to say eh, $10 per bow. Uh, if you don't want to buy things, so th this is it's kind of weird because B I would think it was buy, but it's, it's buy for the person using the chest rather than the person owning the chest. Uh, if you want to, if I want people to be able to sell me their bows, then I can put a price in here, say I put a colon and then say I want to buy bows for $1. Uh, that's the S there. So I will, people can sell me their bows for $1 or they can buy bows for me for $10. And then you want to put the item name. Now I happen to know it's bow here, so I'm good with that. And you hit done. And you notice now my name's up, my name's up there. And you notice down here it says, uh, oops, where is it? Um, Oh yeah, shop successfully created. Sorry, I was reading the chat rather than trying to find the piece here. Uh, so that, now I have a little shop. If somebody were to come here and right click on it, they would buy a, um, or punch it. I think it's punch actually. They would buy a bow. You have to have the bows in there, of course. Uh, and if they right click, they would be able to sell it. I think that's the way it goes. We'll have to, we'll have to swap out there. Um, so now you can, you can go, you know, create your own little shop. You can create it wherever you want to. Uh, of course, people have to find it. So that's the other issue. You'll notice that I'm guessing there's probably gonna be some folks out there. Let's see. Uh, somebody have <laughs> mood light. Um, I'm breaking 10 on, on a, uh, on a torch. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. Usually there's somebody's advertising their shop in here, but oh. Uh, so, and of course, this time I won't find it. Oh, there we go. So, like, here's somebody's uh, selling a uh, poppy on here, and they say where to warp, to where to warp, excuse me, to get to be able to buy stuff. So they'll have chests there. So we'll, we'll check out Mom Farm here in just a minute, and sure enough, it'll probably be, uh, you know, someplace where you can go buy those things. So I think. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is if you're not sure what and what to put on that last line because it is the item name. Um, I think that's yes so if you type slash item info all one word it'll tell you the number and the name of the item so there's it that's the chat that's a chest and that's what I would put on that bottom line uh, let's see something a little bit less now let's try this one so whatever you're holding you put it in your hand so you're, you're holding it and then item info and it will tell you what it's called so ender pearl um, I believe you leave out spaces on the signs. I'm not really sure. Or you can use the number actually, 368, but then it's not quite as clear what people are buying. Um, now that's very helpful for things like, I'm gonna sit here and get. Uh, so if you want to be able to sell, let's say you want to sell a, a mending book. So if I'm holding in my hand, then I do item info. There it is, enchanted book. And there's the number I need. All right, so that's some of the fun stuff you can do with chess. Now, one thing I haven't tried, and it would be interesting, let's just try it real quick. I don't know if you can combine this. So if I do um, drop transfer, well, that's the thing we did earlier, and select. Can I, let's see. Oh, okay, yeah. So you can't do it. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to um, uh, be able to use this, but this chest is not being used otherwise because it'd be kind of fun to be able to draw stuff from someplace else and have it come in here, but uh, it doesn't work that way and that's all right too. So we're going to do one last thing here because I could remember the details. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Um, oop, there we, now we're popped in. There we go. Uh, oops, this one doesn't have the sign. All right, I, I was just going to check here real quick, so let's try it. Oh. Market. Um, oh gosh, there we go. 
Um, da, 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 da. Oh, that's purchasing the shop. I'm looking for the. Um, oh, right. And, and if you're ever curious about the chest shop, how to make the chest shop. So, uh, line one is empty, the quantity per stack. Line three is how, uh, buy how much and sell. Uh, sell how much. And then item name or item number. Here's an example. And uh, and type info. So if you're never sure, if you're not sure how to do the the, the chest, then you can do it that way. Um, all right, I was, but I can't remember if it's a right click or left click. That's what I was actually came over here to look for, but that's all right. We'll figure it out later. Uh, I believe you buy with a left click. Run it over real quick. Let me take a look. Uh, yeah, okay, good. I have a little bit of money. Of course, the first startup I walk into doesn't have anything to sell. <laughs> And a lot of these are uh, are out of stuff right now. Um, well, kind of expensive. Sure, gold are. So I will if I right click. Yeah. So uh, right click is, or I mean, excuse me, left click is selling and right click is purchasing. So I was correct. All right. Sorry for the. Uh, I should have checked that before we started the video, but that's all right. So that's some of the basics uh, that you can do with the chest since it gives you some of the extra. Um, capabilities that the chest plugin allows for you and get you set up to be able to move things around a little bit more easily and sell things once you have them. All right. So I think we'll wrap this up for uh, this episode and I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, any suggestions, comments, please keep them coming. That's, that's appreciated all the comments. We are, I am hoping that we'll be able to try to do something with maybe uh, some of the folks on the server, maybe go check their houses or, or do tours or just you know run around with some folks or maybe uh, something like that from people with people on the server. So if you're interested in doing something like that, um, we could try to set up a time. The time difference is going to be an issue, I think, a little bit to try to coordinate something. But let's give it a try. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. All right. Well, I hope you are all, you are all well, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.